Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Planet Coaster. Today is going to be a little bit different episode. We are, I'm not going to live commentate over this episode. This is all post-commentary footage, whatever you want to call it. Uh, reason being, I've been building for the last two and a half hours, and oh, me trying to talk over that is not really entertaining. It's not informative, it's a lot of dead time. And I just feel like this is a better format for what I'm doing today. Now, this necessarily won't be the same way I do it every time. Um, to me, when I build coasters or something, I, I would like to talk over that. But what I'm what I did today, I really mainly just you know built some buildings and I I extended out the pirate area. I'm doing I'm working on the wall here. If you like I said, if you haven't seen my last episode, uh, this is the entrance to the pirate themed area and uh i'm gonna try to enclose it and this that's that's what you're seeing here i'm gonna enclose most of it uh the back part the plan is to have some sort of do uh, like a dock or a port um uh, not exactly sure how i'm gonna do that uh, i'm still quite a ways i'm quite a ways away from doing that to be honest with you uh, I had a lot of work I had to do today on just getting this wall fixed and starting the actual city area. You see a lot of, there's a lot of empty area right now. Uh, that's where a lot of the buildings are going to be. Uh, I tried to keep the rides on the outer part. I didn't want to stick them right in the middle because uh, I just feel like they should probably be on the, like, almost up against the walls. Uh the city itself, I really want to try to make it really dense, and I'm still getting used to some of the quirks of the building tool, uh, but I feel that I'm definitely getting stronger with it. I I have another, like, a practice park that I go in there and start to build buildings, stuff that I don't have to go back and, like, delete in my main park, so. Yeah, we're going to do that, so uh, let me know how you like this format. Uh Personally, like I said, when I watch people play Planet Coaster, I like this type of video. I like them to speed it up because there is there's a like a there's a lack of rides and coaster types, so you can only do so many of those. But when you're like how creative you can be with the buildings is absolutely awesome, and there's some awesome videos out there. Um, but it's just one of those things where you have to watch somebody build something, and sometimes it's better to speed that up. Uh, like I said, if you watch any of my scrap mechanics, I don't typically use time lapse because I can really get like in detail and explain what's going on or what I intend to happen. But here, it's a, it's different when you're building buildings in this area. So, yeah, like I said, hopefully you like this format. And I'll, I'll go along and we'll explain what I'm doing. Um, up here, there's uh, just one thing before we go to the next building. Uh, there is a... I, if you watch my last episode, I'm trying to incorporate this coaster into this wall into the uh, and also a lot into the pirate area now when I first built this I I didn't really know where the pirate area was going to be kind of blocked off and some of the coaster actually overlaps into the like main entrance area and that's that's a little unfortunate um, because I put a lot of effort in the station in this wall you know I have it to where it goes in and out of the wall and I built even a, like a tower in the middle of the coaster that's going to be if I can do it, connect it to the wall. So, uh, that's a little unfortunate. I'll have to go back and see if I can edit it and try to pull it a little more towards the pirate area. I, I really don't want to screw with it too much, so uh, I might just have to deal with it in the way it is. But yeah, I mean, the more you, uh, the more I learn about the game, the more, like, ideal, or more, like, design, all these designs start to come into my head, and I, I start to pick apart what I've already built and be like, well, that's not really good. Let me, let me go back and change that. And that's kind of my style when I play games like this, when I play creative games, uh, I go back and really pick apart a lot of what I'm doing. So, uh, if you watch my first episode, you kind of, you saw me do the entrance area. I'm going to wind up changing most of that. Uh, the more I learn about the game now, the more I know, you know, how things work, uh, the better I can make, you know, the different areas of the park. So, uh, that'll be later down the line. Right now, the episodes you're going to see here are going to focus on getting this area completely done. So, anyways, what you're seeing on screen now, uh, we are building... Now, this looks like they're going to be two buildings, but 
what I'm going for here. Like I said, I've pulled up a lot of old pictures of like old villages and like colonial style areas. And they're always really dense. The buildings are really close together and there's a lot of alleyways. And my ideal with this area in particular is having this alleyway, which I'm trying to I'm trying to direct traffic down the, that way. That's why I added some facilities down there. I, I don't really know the logic behind the AI. I don't know if what they're doing is actually going to those shops or maybe they're thinking that, you know, how to get to point A to from point A to point B the quickest, say that we want to go to a ride that's on the other side of that building. I'm not really sure of the logic there. But I want to direct traffic a lot to uh, use, like, utilize as much of the city as possible. So I want to see them go in and out of alleyways. Uh, I'm not going to make every building to where you can go in them. A lot of the buildings are going to be props because I don't want to oversaturate the amount of facilities. But I definitely want to keep, like, a just a healthy amount of buildings that they can go into. Because it, ultimately, it looks it looks tons better when you got a big city and people are using the buildings and all that good stuff. So, uh I don't know. Hopefully, I mean, that's what I'm going for. And hopefully it works. Uh, they have a lot of props in the game. And a lot of things that you can really get down there and start to place. And put a lot of fine detail into the game. Like, it's it's absolutely insane. I mean, 3 was, uh, three was like this. Uh, you could build a lot of custom buildings and go in there and really uh, go in there and add a lot of fine detail, but it seems better put together in this game. And once they really get in a lot of the themes, it's, I think it's going to be awesome. So, uh, one thing I'm not liking, and I've seen this addressed in other uh, videos, uh, not being able to throw these angles in some of these buildings, the tool's not made like that. Um, you have to kind of keep the angles at, you know, 90 degree. Like, it's really hard to do these slants. These slants, the game notices, like, notice that slant that I built. It notices it as a second building. It doesn't notice it like it's attached to the same building. And that's, that's a bit annoying. Hopefully they, uh, I wouldn't say fix it, but hopefully they change the building tool to make it where you can do things like this instead of having to go in here and set up another grid. And it, it gets to be a pain because they, they've got it, they've got it really set up. It's set up great, to be honest with you. When you build buildings, it, it uses that grid system and really makes it to where you can line everything up perfectly. And I, I really like that, but I feel, you know, there needs to be a little bit of flexibility to angle some of these buildings. So uh, that's why you'll see me fiddling around with that one particular area. It's because I'm having to switch back and forth. Uh, another thing about the grid, uh, you got to be really careful when you build these buildings buildings uh you i made the mistake you'll see me do it here at some point um i went in there and started to place these walls and then i start to notice that the wall there's like these little lines and i'm like trying to figure out what those are and when you use that grid say you've got a square and your your wall is on one side of that square well you can go into the next square of the grid and your wall is somewhat in the sim like almost it looks like the same position but it really is a hair off of that original like you move squares so I, I learned that the hard way and I had to tear down a part of this building you'll see that here in a second so definitely be careful when you're lining up your walls when building because you don't want to have to go back and have to tear apart half of your creation so I do that. Uh, like I said, I'm still learning. Uh, I'm just really impressed with the amount of things that you can do. Uh, I've seen some absolutely fantastic things on the uh, Planet Coaster subreddit. Uh, some, I mean, they're even taking some of these. These are like pirate themes, and they're making them look like different styles of buildings. I've seen from like uh, like Japanese. I mean, just all sorts of things. It's, it's absolutely fantastic, so... Uh, they definitely they have a strong community going on uh, with this game, so that's why I have such high hopes for it, and that's why I'm enjoying it. Absolutely, I'm, I'm enjoying it a, a ton, and I really should have more episodes out for it. And uh, if you watched any of my other episodes, you know I, I had some problems recording this game at first. Uh, my settings were off. I was originally using Bandicam to record, and I had all sorts of gremlins. But like I said, thankfully. Uh, I finally found a OBS setting that 
works. So we're good there. We should definitely be getting plenty of uh, Planet Coaster coverage. Uh, that's what was disappointed me about the last episode. The only thing you really got to see was the end result. You didn't get to see me actually building. Uh, I lost that footage, of course. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited. You know, I should be uh, further ahead than I am. You know, these types of videos and the other videos, if you watch my channel, you see a lot of scrap mechanics. They take a long time. It's not really just, hey, let me record a chunk and then just give it, you know, play through like a level or can give it out to you guys. It's it's a lot of building, so there's a lot of editing that goes along with it. So, you know, like I said, hopefully you enjoy what's going on here. My Planet Coasters uh, videos do well. I mean, they don't, they're not doing near what the scrap mechanic videos do, but this is just a game that I really absolutely enjoy and I see a, a bright future in it. So I, I enjoy playing it. So I figure, you know, let's go ahead and record it. And also, uh, speaking of what I'm watching on screen here, uh, I'm sure there was somebody in the, uh, when they're watching this video, thinking that that little angle, that door was bothering them, that the uh, pathway was at a, like a, just a 90 degree and it didn't actually flow around, so I did go back and correct that, because th that was bugging me the whole time, too. But let's see, yeah, we move on. We're about to put the roof on the building. Uh, you're going to notice one side looks blank, like the, uh, extremely blank. The reason being, I'm not sure if I'm going to put windows over there yet. I, I might have another building right beside it, almost touching. Like, that's how dense I want to make this area, so... That's why it looks that that way. Uh, it's not. It's it's on purpose. I didn't just forget a side of the building. So uh, before that gets mentioned, but yeah, uh, it took me a bit to figure out how I wanted to do the roof. Uh, these parts that they give you, you know, I was looking at the different styles from the pictures and all that. So it took me a while to figure that out. And plus, sometimes I had problems with the roof tool. Just you know, lining everything up. You know, you build a, sometimes you get a complicated building and then you try, try to stick a roof on it and you're like, oh, that doesn't really work. You know, I, I need different style of, you know, different styles and different angles. So luckily I got this one figured out. Um, I make, I think I make some slight changes, not to the roof, but uh, some of these walls. Uh, I think I noticed some lines. Uh, one of the things you notice in the game, and I've heard it addressed before, and this is another thing you have to be careful about with lining your walls up. You'll see texture bleed through. Uh, your textures will collide and they'll do this weird like ghosting and you'll see um, like it flickering. And it's really annoying. And I know I have a, a bit of it on my uh, station for that coaster that I need to go correct. Uh, that was before me, you know, really figuring out the grid tool, how to you know utilize it properly because... I noticed it, and I noticed this flickering. I was like, well, what's happening here? And that's what it, I thought it was almost just like a glitch in the game and that something that was going to get ironed out. But no, it was actually because, you know, the textures are just bleeding because you can force objects into each other. So that's really all that was. So that was actually on me opposed to that being a game glitch. But yeah, uh, let's see. We're just... I'm putting the finishing touches. This building here isn't overly complicated. I'm still... I'm still learning the different styles that I want to use for the building, so this was a a bit of a change, you know. Uh, the st I'd only really been building besides the shops that I built at the first is, uh, entrance. I'd only been doing like modern buildings, and I feel that I'm pretty good at doing those. But it's the older style that I wasn't quite as used to. But yeah, I'm definitely I'm trying to throw in all sorts of veg like vegetation around it and trying to fill that alleyway and make it look as busy as possible because once once I get this like end result of this whole area like I just I get excited thinking you know how full it's going to look and how just awesome it's going to be so of course I'm definitely by far not like I'm not the best builder and I won't rank myself I've seen tons of builds where people have they've done these absolutely insane things but I do have a couple plans for the future of things that I would like to pull off. So uh, the more I get acquainted with this building and the different types of architecture, the, the better this will uh, eventually turn out. So let's see. Yeah, we're almost to about the point where I uh, finished up. I kind of ran out of time 
to build. I needed to go back, and I, I knew I had to come in here and record some sort of commentary for it. So, uh, next episode, we'll definitely, we're going to fill out this, the rest of the city area, and then I'll continue the wall, and then the dock's going to be in the back. I might move the pirate ship ride and incorporate it into the dock. I'm not sure. So, we'll, uh, we'll plan that all out, and we'll start that in the next episode, and like I said, if y'all have any suggestions or comments for the park, you know, anything you'd like to see, I'm still trying to think of a name for this area. Uh, it kind of sucks that you can't do, like, custom signs where you can write something on them. Uh, hopefully that will come soon. But, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to like the video, subscribe. Any and everything helps. We'll have some more Scrap Mechanic coming out tomorrow. Right now, I'm just going to kind of alternate between the games. So, anyways... Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys next time.